There you go. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to uh, episode 26 of Bruce Bros and BS. Tonight we got Sierra Nevada's Hazy Little Thing IPA and Walnut Rivers Dark Utter Milk Stout. Hey, you there did you do go. it. You said you weren't going to do it. <laughs> Thumbed out, gunned out? Is that. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Well, I didn't toast to you, Tate. Eat a bag of your tape. What's up, Jeff? <laughs> Jeff joins uh, right off ah, the bat. Those are fast. Coro, and what's up? Hey, don't forget to share, Tate, also. I will. Just give me some time, man. Uh, well, when we're starting off, uh, we want to start uh, doing a little bit of a shout out to uh, you know people sharing, liking, commenting. Did you say two sharing? Supporting the show. Yeah, two sharing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so we got a couple shout outs here, real quick. Uh, start things off. Uh, oh. Cooper Nickel, Luke, Robert Elledge, Stephen Luffman, Jason Kraft, Charles Winters, Justin Kenner Connect, Michaela Hauser, Joe Brown, Kat Walsh, uh, and then of course always uh, Julie and Sarah, the uh, Bruise Bros wives who are always sharing and liking and commenting. Uh, we got a couple uh, uh, breweries and craft uh, uh, craft names on Instagram that uh, here recently started liking and following us. Uh, oh, no, I want to shout out... Uh... Hydra again. Hydra. And Absolutely. Bud. Woo! Bud. You get the biggest the shout last out. Last two weeks. Uh, shout outs. Those Maybe guys. Uh, give us a. That's what's up, Jeff. Thanks for stopping in, man. Uh, the bearded black. The bearded blackikins. Is that what it is? Bearded blacksikins. Blacksikins. <laughs> uh, yeah. Two brothers that uh, taste craft beer together. They followed us and liked our shit. So. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and then craft daddy also same thing. Nice. Uh, and then we got uh, two breweries actually it's, here it's recently. Guys like that, that we should get on the show eventually. Just absolutely have them, get them as a guest. Hang out. And ask them what they think about shit. You know. We yes. got uh, we got two different Anybody breweries that uh, started following <laughs> us on Instagram. Uh, Skygazer Brewing. Uh, they're a new brewing co uh, brewery coming uh, to Connecticut. I don't remember the city name, but uh, yeah, that sounds about right. But anyways, uh, we might get in, in touch with them, you know? New yeah. brewery, they want to get their name out. They, Send us know. beer. I'll want to reach 4,000 people. We're Send drinking beer. beer. All night. I'll drink it. Uh, and then also Calusa <laughs> Brewing out of Florida uh, started following like us. Cool. So that's awesome. Shout out to those guys. Uh, I want to give uh, a big shout out. I guess I mentioned it to Chris. I forgot to say anything to you guys. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh, especially tonight since we're drinking. Uh, we're starting off with the Sierra uh, Nevada IPA, if you can tell by the cans. Uh, but we got the uh, Dark Utter Walnut River uh, later on tonight, which happens to be a good friend of mine, one of his favorite beers, uh, Eric Pack. He's been on the show, caught in, uh several times, especially here recently, and it happens to be his birthday. So I wanted to give a special shout out to Happy him. Birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, Happy birthday to Eric. If you'd have told me, <laughs> even though nobody ever hits me up because I don't do social <laughs> media, and if you emailed us, it would just go to Chris. But uh, if you had told me, <laughs> I'd take you out for a drink before the cast. I mean, I do that. That's... That's my thing. Oh, he Everybody, lives in Abilene. He lives in Abilene. Everybody gets a drink. <laughs> he oh, can yeah, make it, though. Well. Actually, oh, at some nice point, he should, uh, What's he should up, make Elder? Podcast, but, uh, I don't like you. But... Yeah, so cheers. Let's What's give up? another cheers to uh, everybody. You know, like, sharing, commenting. It always helps us out. Uh, we appreciate you guys. John, so, Derek, what's up? Everybody, so you thank you for joining. A moment ago, or, or maybe snickered at me saying, I'd invite anybody on. I think the best thing that, the best feeling that I got was when Eric was here. And he's like, oh, I drink, was, was it Miller Lite? Well, he's like, oh, I drink is Miller Lite. Yeah. And then he had both those beers, and he's like, I, I didn't think of myself a craft beer guy. These are yeah. amazing beers. I would drink these all the time. And I was like, yes, that's the fucking point. That's the whole there reason I did this. And then eventually, you will drink those all the time, and then you will never go back. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the audio is better this week. I know a lot of people fell off early last week because we had them all fucked up and clipping, but... Hopefully it's better. If it's not, let us know. I'll tone hey, it down Eric a little said, bit. Thanks. I want to say you're welcome, dude. Man, yeah, happy you're birthday, welcome. dude. I hope it was a good one. Uh, uh, are you are you drinking uh, dark tonight? By the way. So you speaking of that, the <clears throat> clipping. It's showing whenever he speaks. It's already showing in the yellow. Is that going to be clipping or is red in the clipping? That's just where the black kinda... line is. That's where we actually are. Oh, the are. black line? Yep. It's not the actual volume. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay, that's much yeah, better. Sorry, I'm super loud. <laughs> <laughs> what up, John? Uh, if you 
Definitely if you come back later, there'll be a video of Neff and I uh, drunkenly uh, <laughs> wrestling. Yeah, or wrestling. Uh, <laughs> Elder says we sound good on his end. So cool, we, cool. Uh, but yeah, we uh, what, what was he, that three weeks ago now? He jokes about it. and He's yeah. he's happy about it too. It was pretty gay. <laughs> he <laughs> took his shirt off at some point. And he was like, one. "Boy, yeah. after Hydro Park, you sure one, uh, everybody who watched and Elder and I actually talked about this uh, <laughs> earlier. Oh, he's got to drive home. Cheers, Derek. Jameson Thank later. You. Hell yeah, man." Oh, buy a Hydra? You should do that. Woo! Always take up the Hydra. Yes. Hell yeah. Yeah, definitely grab something and bring it back to us. An Immortal, <laughs> a Brew Mortal, the Morning Star, any of those, I, I definitely suggest. Yeah, yeah he he's, works. He oh. lives in South Dakota. Or, yeah. Two yeah. Falls. Two Falls. Okay, yeah. Hey, so, what's up? Send me a long time to see. Video is messed up. Who's the gay guy in the red sleeve shirt? It's fucking Tate. It's Tate, baby. <laughs> Oh yeah, but he's a beer. Oh, yeah, please. Uh, I'll take another one. Yeah. Hey, cheers everybody for joining. This is awesome. This is a great turnout right off the bat, man. We love you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, just uh, real quick, since you're here on Facebook, if you click that share button, let your friends know that you're cooler than them. Uh, we'd appreciate it. Uh, oh, <laughs> wait, speaking of uh, Tate and the uh, red shirt, we uh we did finally put in orders for shirts, fellas. We we There's put in the orders. On that. Uh, it's supposed to be within two weeks. Okay. Then two weeks. We should have our shirts, which uh, we do have some things that we want to do as far as <laughs> getting them to be given away. Uh, and then oh, we will have a second shirt, Garrett which will be Julie. on a much Maurice, more comfy material to be purchase. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're supposed to put it up at a store. The first I'm never off my game, you know that. <laughs> so if, if a shirt sounds like something you'd like, let us know. Uh, there should be a... Somewhat of a store link, I believe. Yeah, Pedro's talking to you about. Yeah, uh, so that we can do that, so that you can have awesome shirts that say "I hate Tate" <laughs> or yep. "I got the I got the Tate hate." Yep. Yep. <laughs> They're basically all uh, revolved around hating Tate and enjoying BBBS. Also, thanks for tuning in, Buse. It's pretty yeah. cool. Uh, yeah, Sydney, we will have uh, some contests, some giveaways, and stuff with the T-shirts. Yeah. Uh, I want to get some more mugs made. That are just like what we're drinking here on the cast. They're really uh, cool. We want to do some giveaways as far as like uh, you know, uh, if you're joining in or uh, you know, we could do some shit like who knows the guest best yeah. questions yes. about us or something. Yeah. Jason was talking oh, about uh, <laughs> like maybe one night uh, you try to guess what we're gonna like two truths and a lie. We yeah. do that, and then if you can guess it all, yeah. <laughs> Jason was talking about uh, doing like if you can guess what we're gonna rate a beer, and you guess it incorrectly, <laughs> whoever gets like the you know the closest, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll do some prices right bullshit. Uh, I call him Bob Barker. That's right, Drew Carey. Yeah. No, I said Bob Barker. Fuck you. <laughs> Dude, I like Drew Carey. I not, do too. Not as not as Price is Right. Bob Barker is always going to be Price is Right. But uh, Drew Carey back in. Uh, whose line is it anyway? Yeah. Oh, Absolutely. dude. All day. Fuck. I just like yes. it's Bob though. Like you could. Yes. No matter who they got. It couldn't replace Bob. The only reason it's Bob is because of Happy Gilmore. If he would have never done Happy Gilmore, so, I'd have hated that guy. But he what? did Happy Gilmore. And I was he killed it? Oh, he killed it. No, I had it started up. But... So, what did I fucking quick drop? Quick drop. Just don't spill beer all over everything again. I replaced what I broke. I know you did. You're a good man for it. A trivia question about beer. Ooh, that's that's a good one. But that we could... I can't think of anything. The, the only, only way that we could do that is if you couldn't access Google, and there's yeah. no way for us. to Everyone's on the like online when we do this, so like there'd be so much, so many easy ways to cheat and. Uh, no, we'll definitely we're gonna do it something like definitely ca like strictly cast related. Like you have to be here live present to win the t-shirts. Like, yeah, I was gonna say like you guest on we the want show it for the people and maybe who... buy around. <laughs> we <laughs> want it for people who are tuning in every week, who are putting in the time. Uh, we love our we love our people. So, but that's something in the future. We're uh, we got them coming. I love I love all of you. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Every episode, spay and neuter your yes. fucking pets. Spay and neuter. I was just one time. He just went and went off with it. Hey, what's up, Aaron? Thanks for joining in tonight, man. I have forty six cats, and they're all spayed. Also, uh, I know I asked Eric because it's his birthday. If he was drinking dark, he said uh, he's driving home. Uh, anybody else who's drinking tonight? What are you guys drinking? Uh, give us a quick. Yeah, totally. Uh, hello. Let us know. Drinking. We always want to know what you guys are going on. Has anybody ever played the game Stumps? <laughs> I asked because before coming over to this place, I had never heard of the game since I lost my life. 
But if you Elder don't know, hadn't, Elder hadn't played till Saturday. Either. Yeah. This is well, first yeah, time. Elder first time and he cleaned house. Yeah. Uh, Chantel's That's here. That's like the first time we played with Eric's you. here. What's up, everybody? Uh, but anyway, stumps. Up, you, you get, you get a big fucking stump. You get a bunch of drunk assholes standing around it with a, with hammer, a hammer played by <laughs> us. <laughs> and then you try to hit everybody else's nail in. Uh, so it's a good old, like, Kansas game. Yeah. It's What a bunch of Kansas kids do when they... It actually originates in Germany. Rip. So, yeah. You're full of shit. Uh, you want to bet on this? P provide proof. Chantel, uh, provide proof. Chantel, I saw on Facebook today, uh, you're getting closer and closer to your move back to Kansas. You're going to be able to do that uh, in-person <laughs> guest appearance. When's that going down? When are you moving back? Ginger beer is well. Oh, Sydney had her first Moscow mule. If you want a good Moscow mule, this guy right here makes a mean one. He makes I'll tell you, one. I was fucked up after one. Eric, what are you drinking oh, tonight? Don't oh, tell me you're here not. We go. Uh, Anything so ginger is good. Originating in Germany. Uh, meaning, look, uh, middle German low, top graphic, blah, blah, Ooh, blah. hell yeah. Oh, I can hit nails. Hey, we're in on that, dude. That Elysian Space Dust I Yeah, can. That's some good I've stuff, dude. I've been to try that. I see a lot of good talk about it's that. It's good. And, like, the craft beer community it's on uh, Facebook and shit. Yeah, we we've did. I know Derek's an avid craft beer lovers, like in the groups yeah. on Facebook and shit. He's posting on there. I've seen him, but Sydney says it's spicy. Your Moscow Mule was spicy. I don't agree with that. You got oh shit. Ooh, with Tabasco. Are you doing yours with Tabasco? Chantel will be here community? Friday, uh, so she can guest star next week. <laughs> <laughs> with Blair. Speaking yeah. of that, Blair is our uh, guest yeah. next week. We'll have Jeremy Blair here. Uh, Yes, our next oh, that'll be cool. Through. Its yeah. origins are in Xinhe, China, but it was made popular in German, Germany and then carried to the Pacific Northeast. Uh, the game has moved south to New Jersey, Maryland, Washington, D.C., through Ohio, and then what finally the to the Midwest. The Pacific Northeast? Pacific North. Oh, it says Pacific Northeast. That's all Northwest, fucked up. right? Yeah, it should be Northwest. We can well, see how valid Jason's article is. It doesn't necessarily mean the United States Pacific Northwest. It could be Pacific Northeast because it For, started like, in China. Asia. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I can see that. Okay. Yeah. God, you fucking Americans. Yeah. <laughs> We're the only hey, exactly. everything We're revolves around <laughs> Chantal says she has had a spicy uh, Moscow mule. Oh, depends what they put in it. And then here Gross. it is. Yeah, the, don't do the it. The original Fuck name it. for the game is Hammerschlagen. <laughs> Dude, we should call it that from now on. We should. Fuck Hammerschlagen. Hammerschlagen sounds bad as fuck. <laughs> Wanna play Hammerschlagen? Uh, <laughs> this is where it's at. But uh, it originated oh, by taking a 300 pound wooden block and playing stumps. So that you could not move it, which is part of the reason for the nail pulling rule. Yeah. Uh, I can lift up a nail in the block in 300, 300 pounds. <laughs> Or hammer slogan. Hey, probably, it's probably totally hammer slogan. Here's the thing. <laughs> as long okay. as I remember it after today, it's hammer slogan. I just want to say this. <laughs> On Facebook, when a video uh, pops up and, and they're just joining in, you don't get audio. And all I know is there's a g bunch of people that just scrolled down and maybe just saw that we went live, and they just saw Tate going like this. <laughs> so maybe just don't ever do that again. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but so I, 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 in my I'm head okay I was like... It. I'm okay with it because <laughs> you have to like hit the little speaker for outside yeah. work. Yeah. Tay was talking about castrating and jacking off cows. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Milking cows straight into his mouth. It's, it's so, no, a little bit. Dude, he did do that earlier when he's talking about the dark as under. He's like, ah, oh, I just want uh, He's a country boy. Have you ever milked something? <laughs> milk no. is fun. Straight into my mouth? No. <laughs> I've never milked something. It's not it's just a good time. Could you milk me, Greg? I have nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I had a comment, and now I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I was going to say, Are you thinking be careful about driving, people? Chantel. Oh. It's a long drive. Yeah. All the Especially in the winter, Cal through the, the yeah, through the mountains and shit. Yeah, that's a stressful drive. Also, and absorb that warmth while you can, girl, because it's not going to get much warmer this <laughs> Dude, way. It was like nine <laughs> degrees this afternoon. Oh, we're already God. ready for a review, by the oh, way. Oh man, damn, twelve, man. eleven. That was fast. Yeah. So the first beer tonight is ah. uh, my pick. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I I tried. I went out on a leaf and I got an IPA. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is the first time we've had a Sierra Nevada beer. Uh, is it? Yeah. I thought we did one other. Uh-uh. Hmm. Nope. And this is... Wait. What's, uh... Victory? No, that's Ballast Point. Never mind. You're right. Uh, but my, my buddy Cooper, who commented on the, on the, the precast post, he was the one who, uh, gave me my first one of these, and I was like, oh, that's really good. 
Uh, so he was the inspiration for this beer. So I'm going to have to shit on Sierra Nevada and Brooks at the same time. Not because anything was bad, but uh, they had a, it was a world tour pack. What's up, Jared? Under their mixed packs for Sierra Nevada. And it was labeled as like $17.99. And I went to buy it. It was like 32 bucks, and not wanting to be an asshole. I was like, yeah, that's uh... totally what I meant to buy. And then I bought it. And then so I, I was like, fuck it. I bought it. I'm going to taste all these. Because it was 12 different beers from around the world. And I put the... It, it's actually still hanging up under my calendar. Or Sierra Nevada I, beers? Yep. I, I put it up and I pinned it. And I drank them one by one all in the same night. And you could tell which ones were the latest <laughs> ones. Because the IPA started to get a check. And they were like, really good. Really good. Really good. Because all the IPAs I saved for the last. But there was a Japanese IPA. And it was made with white cherry blossoms. And it was actually really incredible. Uh, I do have to say, because it was like my eighth beer. Eric, it might have been because it was my eighth was beer. Major but yeah, Eric insane. says he bought that shit in there. There's some major duds in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. dude. Yeah, there was. They're floaters. They are big. <laughs> no, he's, I think he's talking about the... Uh, wait, are you talking about the uh, the hazy, or are you talking about that sample pack? I think he's talking about tank. duds of beer. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is pretty dank. Super yeah, dank. Was. Yeah, so uh, dank. But so uh it was fucking dank? Are we, are it's we like, dude, and they don't even yeah. float oh, down. Shit, they really uh, is. They don't float down. Oh my god. They're fucking solidified in this shit. It looks like fucking cottage cheese in there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's huge. see if we can you can see it. Oh my god. Yeah, he was he was talking about the sample twelve. He said that there were some duds as far as Oh yeah, yeah. There, there really were. But uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It was worth it. I, I know what those are like now, but I can't buy the ones that I really like. So yeah, that's the thing that sucks though with yeah. those is because like now what are you gonna do? Man, that was a good beer. Guess I'll cool. maybe have it again if they ever do this ever again. I can import a six pack for thirty six bucks. Let's do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, right. anyway, Jason. You want me to? No, I was fucking talking. Jason interrupted me. <laughs> uh, so There's nothing you say is important. Just, first just now, Sierra Nevada. Don't repeat. Hey, uh, hey. <laughs> it's six point seven percent alcohol by volume. I think Sierra Nevada, where are these made at? Uh, Sierra Nevada. Chico, California? Obviously. Yeah, Chico, Calif California. Huh. Was that a good guess? Huh. No, I read it earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, they, uh, I, post I posted a video on our, our page the other day, and it was the Sierra Nevada advertisement, and they were talking about how hazy it was. It's hazy. super hazy. Uh, yeah, so this is Purple definitely hazy. This is unfiltered, and it's got a lot of sediment, yeah. but it tastes really fucking good. Yeah, it does. Uh, tank or stank? <laughs> oh, uh, dank is that's a good one for those. Dank like eight plus and stank's four seven minus. nine below, or <laughs> no stank is four minus. There's no four you... minus. Yeah. So well, as far as the taste, is this like dank weed to stanky weed? Is that, like, shut, is the that, shut the fuck up, up dude. <laughs> Jesus, Jason. <laughs> Uh, how do your shit take? <laughs> People are asking questions, not because they want to hear you, they want to hear their responses. I'm going to assault you off camera later. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> this is uh, how the other guys started. Assault? <laughs> all right, go ahead. Get your, get your rating in. It's a really citrusy, uh, not really super bitter. Uh, not, uh, I mean, it's got, it's got a little bit of hop aroma. It's not got a ton, and it's not got a an overwhelming hop flavor at all. So it's one of those good starter IPAs. I would I would say, uh, I'd give this uh, an eight. It's an eight. Nice. Yep. Yep. That's pretty good for a Tate review. <sighs> all you new viewers. All right. That's Tate review. Can I have one more? I agree. It's a great IPA. Moichiro <laughs> Kudasai. These these IPAs make me like. IPAs, the, and I know this is a lot better than the Oktoberfest Thank by you, Sierra Nevada because we had that at uh, Hideaway. Hideaway, yes, yep. for their Oktoberfest. So what? And that was even a draft. This can of IPA is better than their Oktoberfest for sure. What? I was going to ask about the Hideaway. So I was telling somebody about it because they were doing that event that we were supposed to go to last month, and they were like, "Last time I went to the Hideaway, it was like big enough for twelve people." It's Are they, small. Yeah, oh, it's tiny. So they haven't renovated. They can probably then. fit twenty four in there. Okay, and then like max eight, if ten on the patio. There's how? there's like four stalls and three tables. It's just dick to ass. Probably whole, fifty whole people tiny. capacity. It's so tiny. they now do like every third Saturday Sunday. I want to say they do like a brunch where they have like a food truck outside and they do. Food and booze pairings and stuff like that. Eat outside, I guess. So, I don't know. <laughs> yes, so it's, it's, it's dank. dank. Is it that fucking tiny? I yeah, didn't realize it was. Tiny. I 
with, with the way that you guys were talking about and the, the events that they've had where they sell like a hundred tickets, uh, you I thought they would be old house. Like a big. But my old house, big. I'm sharing, and it's like yeah. they hollowed yeah. it out. And made a bar. Yeah. And then there's like That's a patio. Yeah, it's backyard. literally a house that they just like scooped all the It totally is a house, out. isn't it? Yeah. Jeez. It's a house. Yeah. yeah. They said, fuck the walls. No, they got. There's a bathroom and then a bar. They got a good selection of beer, though. They got, uh, they always have good taps. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't mind it. And, and they change it up a lot, too, which is kind of cool. Nice like little that. bar. They had like six different Oktoberfest beers when yeah. we went for if the If you don't want to go and deal with fucking, you know, 60 annoying ass people, you want to just chill. I mean, I deal with sixty annoying ass people when you can deal with one annoying as fuck, motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Chris. <laughs> Isn't the yeah, most Chris. Chris. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna give this. After hate, hate, gunshots are going off. I agree. Sydney says uh, when it's nice outside, it's way better. Uh, she said it in a meaner way, but uh, I agree. Yeah, it's definitely like like late spring, uh, early fall. For That's where I'm at for the highway. Oh yeah. Yeah, I thought she was talking about this beer. This is uh, I didn't agree with the beer. This is a great yeah. summer beer. Oh, totally. And I'm gonna give it eight and a half. Ooh. Boom! It's a solid fucking beer. I like that. I like the that. citrus flavors. That's it. dang. Yeah. It's not real piney and. Oh, it's an easy I'm drink in IPA. Big on shit floating in my drinks, but I don't mind it on this. Yeah, I mean, if you don't hold it up to light, you don't notice though. Yeah. You know, if it's in the can, you're like, what? If we were in a dark bar all night, you wouldn't ever know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> it's bigger than the dark, baby. <laughs> so I'm going to completely have to agree with you. This is you first, and then you. This is a great starter IPA. I feel like this would be something that would absolutely convert me to it. Um, I love the citrus notes that are here, the lemon that goes along with this, and that it's smooth. It doesn't have that long finish. Yep. Because of that, this is a very easily <laughs> drinkable beer. Great for spring, great for fall, great, definitely great for summer. Uh, they just brought back the uh, summer shandy, so apparently it's season for this too. Mm -hmm. uh, Tate, you did this? Yeah. All right, I was going to give it a 9 <laughs> if it gets an 8.5. <laughs> so this is like the IPA summer shandy. This it, is like the beer that you just love to is. drink. It, and it's 6.7% it alcohol versus, what, 4 or 5 or whatever the Summer Shandy is. It's, yeah, the, Summer Shandy is pretty low. The lemon Sydney with says, that hops flavor, though, it goes so smooth Sydney together. says, so what like I like this beer. Blend. Sydney, yes. uh, I think you would, yeah. I think you'd go for this beer. Yeah. I mean, it's really easy to drink. Uh, I'll, I'll include that in on my uh, review real quick so we can get these out of the way. Uh, <laughs> summer <laughs> Shandy is a nine-month season. Fuck yeah. yeah. No, uh, I think a, a lot of people... Uh, I mean, if you like the the dragon <laughs> breath... Or was that Adriana? She Justin says it gives you something to chew on while you're drinking. Yeah, about that right. <laughs> it's, it's fucking cottage cheese. I think a lot of people would this. like Holy this beer shit, that... It's so big. I think a lot of people <laughs> would like this beer that think they would not. No, absolutely. Uh, and, and, and I don't know... Picture of this. So Tate and I... Mm -hmm. We're the IPA guys out of the group, easily. Like yeah. we like that super bitter. Beers like these flavor. make me like IPA. Um, but this oh, one, yeah. like it even it has that, it has that little bit of kick that you're looking for an no. IPA. You're like, I can tell that's what it is, but it's not too overwhelming to where if you don't like that, like it's just part of the flavor. It's not it's not going to stick to your palate it's at all. It's not the main. And the sweetness taste. and like you guys, everybody mentioned the the citrus a little bit, but like Jason had said precast because this is what we were pre gaming on. Uh, it's the sweet part of the citrus taste. Mm -hmm. it's, it doesn't have like a whole lot of tang to it. A little bit at the end, of, like after you, you take a drink and you're sitting there for a while, you can start getting that like sour lemon tartness on your cheeks and your tongue. But, it's but not while the, you're drinking it, it's more the sweet part of it. It's like not a the sweet brine lemonade. like that orange one was. Yeah, absolutely. It's 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 all oh. that sweet lemonade flavor to it. Uh, I yeah, the sediment I still can't like. The thing is, like, okay, you pour the spirit, and you're like, okay, there's, there's really sediment BS. in there, free to share. and it will fall, but it doesn't. Yeah. This stuff is, like, stuck in fucking... It's a suspension. Right yeah. Uh, so but in the best way. In the Stand best down. fucking way. Uh, so you should be able to repost from Sam. No, absolutely. If you want to try IPAs, this is another introductory. We've had a couple now. This is another one. Introductory IPA, go with this. This is fucking good. Damn. Uh, I'm going to give it a... What was the highest? An 8.5? Eight, 8.5. Five? Eight, five. Yeah, because fuck Tate. Fuck that 9. <coughs> I'll give him that 9. I really like this IPA. I'm a huge IPA guy. Uh, I love citrus beers. This is like the best of both worlds combined. Uh, Sierra Nevada makes really good beers. You gotta, you gotta, you do have to pay a little bit more for them. 
A lot of Sierra Nevadas are a little bit higher in price point. I think they're kind of there with Ballast Point. But uh, they make good beers, so I'm not going to hate on them. So I've only had two Sierra Nevada beers that I liked. I had one bad experience with Sierra Nevada that, like, I didn't buy their beer for a couple of years because I was like, Ugh. damn, it, it, it turned me off. But then you was Kansas territory. Was that yeah, same similar shit, thing. Dude. Yeah. Hey, what's the uh, ABV on this? Six seven. Six point yeah. seven, Eric. But like, this is one of those ones that it's a definite buy again. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Like, I feel like my wife, who doesn't like IPAs but loves Summer Shandy, I could buy this and get her super fucked up. This guy. Uh, yep. I right. agree with you. Uh, yeah. No, no, it's a definite buy again. Absolutely. Right. So all the ladies out there who like who like to try this beers guy. but don't like beers, <laughs> uh, yeah, get try it. this one out for get sure. It. It's good. Good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, I started a little bit left before we started trying to start on that dark beer. Yeah, yeah, so our next beer is a, another Kansas local beer. Yep, a Walnut uh, River. We did their war beer a couple weeks ago. I'm going to go ahead and get some of those. Uh, out. They're out no, of... Uh, yeah, we've all got stuff left. I, I wanted to... See? Eat it. Yeah, they're out of uh, El Dorado, Kansas. Or El Dorado, depending on how you pronounce it. So, they're called Walnut River. Have any of you guys ever been to the Walnut River Bluegrass Festival? Nope. No. Oh, dude. Done Wait, with that's not the one that's here. Reduced. Yeah, I, I finished. No, it's in it's it's yeah, it's, it's in Winfield. Nice. What's the one that's here? That's at the uh, giant church place. That's that's downtown. Blues. It's a blues festival. Uh, yeah, it's not bluegrass. It's blues. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. no, so but oh my god, it's so dark. Look at it. It's that's why we decided beauty. to stop with this one. Like, if we had started with that one. Yeah. Imagine. So they, they, some people will call it the Winfield Bluegrass Festival. It's also known as the Walnut River. Oh, it is the Walnut River. Okay, I've heard, of the, I've heard of the Winfield. Yeah, yeah it's okay. the same one. It's the cool. same one. All right. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it started in the '70s when the Mossman Guitar Factory was still in Winfield, uh, and when it started, my dad actually was, my dad's old as fuck. Uh, he's getting ready, <laughs> getting ready to turn seventy-six. But he was holy ooh. shit. That's not even a joke. Yeah, no. Uh, but <laughs> he was there. So they every time you go there, they give you a bumper sticker saying it's the thirty fourth, it's the thirty fifth, it's the thirty sixth annual. And you'll see people see cars that have the big yellow bumper oh, stickers. Uh, but my dad always has to tell the story whenever he goes there. Whenever the people are, you know, giving us our parking pass, he's like, so "This how is how you were born. He knew you were gay." <laughs> <laughs> about how oh this is the we're, you know they give him the bumper sticker he's like oh this is the 38th year huh well i was here when it, i was here two years before that uh so now there's over a hundred thousand people that go like a hundred thousand people oh, yeah. in Colorado. uh it's in uh winfield which is much smaller it, no it's huge it is huge they have they, they have seven different official stages no, literally, I'm gonna punch Jason in the face. Next week, Jason won the black eye. As soon as I hit stop recording, right. he's gonna say, Yeah, you guys wait for this wrestling video. That's gonna be nothing compared to that World Star shit that we put on after tonight. Jesus. I couldn't even concentrate on what the fuck I'm doing. I'm gonna uh -oh. punch you to your bruised ass for falling down the stairs. My ass is healed. <laughs> oh, is totally it? healed. Is it? Show it to the camera. <laughs> it didn't happen. Oh, I don't want to see it. That was ridiculous. But anyhow, the, I, I mean, Walnut River, it's the same same region, El, okay. El Dorado area. Yeah. Uh, no, that's great. I didn't realize that, that like it was the Walnut River, but it was also called the Winfield. So, yeah, it's a, it's in September, and yeah. it's a week long. Uh, the last weekend is like the apex, you know, where it's all the big name stars that are performing. Uh, but and it's like a hippie festival. Hell uh, yeah, it is. Chicks, I mean... It doesn't with bother me. Socks, just like you. Yes. Yeah, chicks wearing Birkenstocks with with big fro <laughs> armpit fro hair and uh, unshaved legs and, and tie dye heads. everywhere. It's a bitch in time. Uh, I have a hand knitted hats. I have a cup hand knitted hats, hacky sack. Uh, I have a couple really good stories at like three a.m. walking around nice. uh, drinking Soco uh, around Winfield. Uh, we should go this man. year. I want to go, dude. That would be bitching. That'd be awesome. It would be bitching. I it's a party. It's a party. I'll bring oh. my banjo. I have a banjo now. Oh, yeah. I forgot yes. about that. Because you joined Mumford and Sons because I saw you with a vest. <laughs> <laughs> you have a vest and a banjo. You're basically in the You're group. basically in the fucking band now. 
So uh, we want to show this wrestling video between reviews? Like, no, let's do it later. Let's do it later. We'll do it after. Yeah, we're gonna keep everybody. I need to drink a little bit more. Okay. I need to drink a little bit more. Okay. Why? Because I, I want to commentate it. Well, okay, okay. Uh, for commentating, good. Yeah, I'm, just of, I'm just afraid. I'm just afraid. Elders on Jason's side. <laughs> I'm just afraid that. Uh, oh. it, you know why? Do you know why he's saying all this stuff? It's that Because, because hey. last fucking week. That fucking limited release, one time only, Boysenberry, you pour it out as every single last drop you could and basically said, fuck you, Elder. After That's you why spilled it. This. After you fucking spilled it. Not the Boysenberry. Oh, you, back, I'm pretty you sure shit. I spilled the plum. Yeah, these were the plum. Uh, was it the plum? It was the plum. Uh, but, but guess God. what? If you're not a winner, you're a loser. <laughs> guess what winners do? <laughs> they take every last. fucking drop. <laughs> That's why Elder is saying that. Because you fucking fucked his boys and berries. Well, it, it, He'll it, never he's have upset a chance that Chewy likes me better than him. He'll never have uh, a chance did, to drink wait, that. Wait, he was here on Saturday? Did you let him smell the bottle? No. We let yeah. him look at it. We let him no. look at Elder it. Elder will never have a chance at that beer now because of you, Jason. Never get the boys and berry. Hey, uh, I see we got eight people watching right now. Uh, oh. People have been coming and going. Uh, give us a quick uh, hashtag Tate Hate if you're still here. Or let us know um, what you're drinking. Or, yeah, or say I'm just, drinking this. Just speak up. But or mainly, hashtag Tate Hate. Say something. Tell us the story we about Tate us. you hate the most. Here's just my guess. one attribute. Here's, here's some of my guesses. Eric, Elder, Sydney, <clears throat> other Eric. I don't know who the other four are. Yeah. I was saying, Sarah Sarah Chantel. Well, I'm watching. watching. Oh, I'm so watching. Me. Yeah. I so go. me, Tate. Hopefully, Chantel. No, no, no. It's cool. The boys in very wound. It's and uh, <laughs> ex, uh, former President Barack Obama. That's my last guess. Oh man, you know how cool that would be. God, I, I saw sh- him once. Maybe I'll hit him up. You saw him once? No, on TV. Yeah. No, no, I totally saw him in person. Like you ain't doing my shit. Mom met yeah. show. Come really? on, Barack yeah. Obama. You ain't got shit to do. Come on, everybody. Exact words. What? Don't act like you're doing would shit. Would you work out at Cessna? Don't fucking yeah. drink beer. Yeah. You think he would? You think if, if you my... think if Chris hit up Barack Obama on Instagram, was like, you ain't doing shit anyways. Come drink craft beers with us. You think he'd show up and fucking? We well, won't blame the failures so on you. When I, when I saw when I saw Obama, we were in uh, Ireland, and he uh, was at the, the what? Yeah. He was uh, looking you were for in the U.S. of A. No, no, no. He was looking for his extra his apostrophe uh, uh, for Obama. He was trying to get that Irish American vote. Uh, he was looking for his apostrophe. That was a that was a joke he said. Uh, so I was hoping it wasn't your joke. No, no Eric, you are the main. Eric. He, 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 he came to Ireland to find his apostrophe. Yeah, it was in the uh, fucking paper, and he just stole. But it. he went to the Guinness uh, <laughs> storehouse and he poured his own Guinness pipe. And he was doing a cheers with everybody. It was, it was bitching. Eric Pack says, if I'm the other Eric, I'm going to fucking riot. <laughs> no, I said Eric Pack, and then I said the other Eric. I mean, Eric Perry is the other Eric. Which I hope he doesn't take offense to that either, but... Hey, no, no you're good, He was man. an awesome guest. Hey, Eric yeah. Perry got his shirt and killed it on the yeah. couch. Yeah. Dude, yes. That was my favorite night, is watching somebody who's never drank a craft beer come up here and was like, I, I fucked up for so many years. Yeah. Uh, what I've what have I been doing? All the wrong and all my time. We'd love to have you on the show too, Peck. Like, uh, yeah, absolutely. If, if you don't want to get on the couch, oh, we can webcam you in. We Skype you. Whatever. Yeah. Get you on that Skype. Yeah. Oh, man, this beer is so Those good. Those Hangouts. Google Hangouts. Yep. This is such a smooth beer. Mm. I agree with you. Wait, Wait do we have the timer set for the, uh, the next beer? Yes, it's already going. Oh. Shit, I haven't even started tr- drinking. Yeah, I haven't even started. Ten minutes. Tim, Ooh, no, where, where's the down? Over on the right. I was given a break. I mean, it's, we got it there for yeah. us, but. All right, well. Fucking fix it. <laughs> well, there we go. Tim, all right. Tate can only see it if it's directly on the uh, OBS screen. Other oh. than that, he's fucking. Where the fuck's it? Yeah, here's the thing, Eric. The last, uh, Pack, the last thing I would want you to do is start a riot in that town and burn down the entire city of Abilene. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's my. it's got a little special place in my heart. That's where I was born and raised. Uh, I wasn't born there. That's where I was raised. Uh, so uh, Neff gave everybody a heart attack earlier today. He he sent out a message saying he was shaving his beard. Yeah, last uh, night I was real close. Dude, uh, I didn't even know what to say. I was just like, uh, I, I, was, I was shocked. Every once in a while uh, I get bored I with it and like I just want to start these. over. Yeah. Emojis. I get bored with it and I want to start over. And I don't even know if I'd I recognize it. I wouldn't recognize you if you I, if I, if I no. we walking down the street and you didn't have your beard. Have you seen the, the pictures from Chris's wedding? 
I don't want to. I'll have to show them to you. I don't want to. <laughs> That's bad, dude. Uh-huh. And I would never go clean shaven though. I went completely clean shaven for that. Yeah, that was that a mistake, was, dude. Like here's, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody who's watching or watches later, there's a whole lot of ugly under this fucking beard, <laughs> and I brought that shit out. Full I told force. Julie you messaged us that, and she's like, "No, no." <laughs> I didn't know she would be so mad. I was trying to like be, cause like there was so. Much, okay, so I. Uh, no, I mean this time, cause you texted oh. us yesterday. Oh yeah, I told her. And she was like, "Fuck no, don't let him do it again." Uh, yeah, for Chris. <laughs> <laughs> wedding uh him and his wife julie i officiated their wedding uh, and he did incredible uh but uh i thought like i hadn't met so much of either side of the family so i was like i'm gonna get clean cut i'm gonna do it right like i want to make him proud and i showed up and julie was pissed yeah. she's like what the fuck what the fuck like she was so mad <laughs> who oh, are man. you yeah <laughs> what did you do now I like oh it. shit eric's living in that enterprise life my bad bro my are the are the comments still coming like on the screen? I haven't seen them pop up. They probably just hate you. No, I don't think they're popping up. No, on I mean I'm OBS seeing them on, on my phone. Uh, did you fuck it up, Chris? <laughs> oh my god! What did you do? They can only do eight million things at once. God Tate. damn! It's not. They're not, are they? <sighs> <sighs> what did we miss? Uh, not a whole lot, man. I've been watching so. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the, yeah. The, they made some comments and shit. Oh, you know. pop. <laughs> Elder, hey Eric says. Uh, Eric Pack did say though uh, he's down to oh, uh, really? guest star whenever we can make it happen. So. Pack. 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 Where's she Pack. go? My bad. Yep. We're right there. So uh, everybody. Oh, he's off camera. I was gonna say everybody who can uh, who can see him there in the corner. He's just off camera. Oh, Chewy, you, Chewy the Wonder Dog is here with us. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh. oh my God. Your faucet was on. How do your tankless hot water heater work? Work well for you? Awesome. I've been thinking about it. My dad has one. You they can. work really well. I've taken like a 45-minute shower before, not ran out of hot-ass water. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, it takes a little bit getting there, like, I don't know, 30 seconds in the shower. Depends on the faucet or how far it is from the water heater, but yeah. or what priority it is, I guess. Oh, you've had it. Since we moved in. So, which was a while three ago. years ago. Oh, what, what kind of lifespan are those supposed to have? Do you know? I think just as long as I think longer than a tank. tank. Damn! I need to get that. So and you can adjust it too. For, you know, uh, as far as digital. intensity, my kid yeah. takes lava showers like me, so I can't take a shower <laughs> for like two hours afterwards. Yeah. So big difference. I have a comment on this because I was just thinking about this. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd rather have you. Uh, <laughs> so uh, what? Last Wait, month when we had the big ice storm. Yeah. Uh, you want a darker? Yes, please. Uh, when we had the big ice storm, there was like a couple thousand people in western Kansas without power. Mm-hmm. And it was like below zero. Uh, and I'm like, I wonder how these people are keeping, are staying warm. They don't have power. Uh, do they have generators? Do they have wood burning stoves? Do they have furnaces? Stoves, uh, when I was living out of the farm, you know, we had a, uh, a propane water heater that had a pilot light that uh, stayed, remained mm-hmm. going. So we always had hot water, even if the, the electricity went out. That's why some, somehow I hit it. Oh, sorry for interrupting you again. Oh, the worst. Uh, we had a uh, a gas or a propane uh, stove so we could make meals, and we had a, a fire burning stove. But like, I think about what would happen if we lost power in Salina uh, for an extended period of time. What the fuck would we do? For like a month? For, yeah, two weeks. For a month. Uh, we were without power at the farm for two weeks once, yeah. and we kept that wood burning stove going nonstop. It was the only thing that kept us warm. But what would we do here in Salina? And then I, I think do. about the tankless hot water heater. Uh, I mean, you're well, fucked. You're fucked. You don't get hot water. Uh, you can't. You either take a uh, blistering cold shower, or you just don't shower. Hot water heater. It's only going to stay warm for about forty-eight hours. Right. If you have an electric one, right? Well, most of them are like natural gas. I mean, mine's natural gas to the house, yeah, but it has a it has an electronic what? igniter. Uh, until you hear it clicking. I don't, it, it might, it might actually keep a... <laughs> oh, because Chewie was sitting here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. Sorry, man, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was, uh... What's up, Justin? Thanks for tuning in. Well, if I ever build a house, or if I... The next house that I buy, I'm going to make sure, if we're in a remote location, I guess, more along those lines, I'm going to make sure that we have a automatic kick-in generator that would support things like a heater and... Yeah. Uh, hot water heater and a stove uh or have propane stove propane hot water heater and some kind of secondary heat source dude i've been looking at the wooden japanese baths that are they're thin they're barrel size i mean they're they're fucking six feet high 
and they have the the wood stove that's underneath. You stand in them? No, you sit in them. They they've got like a little ledge for you to sit in, but it's but just you don't it's, lay in. it's for relaxation. It, it's for relaxation, not for washing. I was like, man, that would be fucking awesome. <laughs> Can you great. imagine? You got a little fire underneath burning you? underneath you? Yep. Yeah. Wood burning? Yep. Huh. It, it's not it's not immediately under. It's it's about mm, about 16, 18 inches under. So it just barely reaches the bottom. And there's supposed to be uh, like a either a metal grate or wood or a, sorry a stone slab that's right there so that it heats the bottom. It takes about 30, 45 minutes to actually warm up. But once you get in, it stays warm for a long time because the the stone stays warm for a long time. It's supposed to last you for about an hour, two hours, as long as there's no additional heat. But if somebody's out there to continue to add heat to it, it can last for indefinitely. That'd be fucking awesome. Last, and, and my shed's just big enough. <laughs> last winter, we, uh, I think it was last winter, we got a big truckload of firewood. Uh, Julie's dad split it up, and we put it in our wood burning stove up in the living room, and literally you barely ran our that heat. Come out, yeah. It's it's like yeah, it's just a pipe through a chimney. Well, I thought you had like one that comes out the side too. Uh-huh. That that's what I'm always worried about. And is... it's it's got like brick, but it's got funnels for the smoke to get out. Okay. And the heat comes through; it blows the the heat out. But okay, it we barely ran our fucking heater that winter. Saved a bunch of money. Yep. Yep. And our hallway was eighty degrees. Just running <laughs> a little wood burning stove this big. I always see people with you included. You have the the fireplace there. Then you have your TV over, and I'm like, man, it would get way too hot, and it would melt my fucking TV. Like, <laughs> like that's what I worry about. And then, yeah, I was here the one night where you did it, and mm. I, th- I could have sworn you had, like, some sort of vent on the yeah, side that was actually blowing out towards the living room. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, not a vent, per se, but, yeah, I guess so. It's, a, it's well, got like a blower on it that you can adjust. Okay, that's a dial, Jason so you can you know, <laughs> tone it down. Hey, sit. You can tone it down. Or you can increase the intensity to where it's it's blowing more hot air. But yeah, it's it's a electric though the blower. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, you don't necessarily. But you could have still to have a blower. Heat your living room and stay warm. So and right. it was it was an 04 when we had the big ice storm in Greenwood County, and uh, it was in the winter and it was during the school. Sophomore in high school. I, uh, you were so, you're older than me. You so. were. Was that when we no, had the ice storm here too? Oh four. Oh four. I, 04, I was <clears> a junior. Oh four. I was fourteen. Uh, was that when we had the ice storm here too? Yeah, it's probably around the same time. Because my yard was a war zone. We we're playing beer pong in the dark with candles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> my alcoholism runs deep. <laughs> but yeah, that ice storm was it, incredible. It, it might have been earlier than that, but oh four seems right to me. But Dude, it was bad. We were without power for two weeks. Isn't this when you finally like hooked up with your wife? No, a different time. Oh, okay. uh, but no, this was when You're I learned. Ice this is when I learned how to crochet. <laughs> I heard the story we're, of how you became we're, a man. We're sitting, we're sitting around, you know. Uh, can't really do much. So we played poker. We this played is chess. Definitely not you. And I learned how to crochet. crochet. Yeah. Eric says 07. <laughs> that sounds. That right. was the one here. Did yeah, that sounds bad. That was right here. here. I, yep. uh, it was, I was 07, I was 17, so that well, wasn't the one that hit us. Ten years ago? That, that sounds about right when Tate became a man. Yeah, I was 19, 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start up the set. Yes, it was a week of partying. Yeah, uh, oh. Eric, Eric Pack and I. Uh, and and we might talk a little do. bit more about this when he like either drinks us on the couch or gets uh, Skyped in or whatever. Uh, we have a lot of partying stories from our past. Oh yeah. Uh, the old Salter, the old Salter place, man. Memories. That's what time it is? Memories. Is it already fucking mm. over? I already open this beer. Yet. You two are going first. Yeah. He hasn't even finished his other beer. I can go first. I literally well, just do. If this. you're okay, go ahead and Ooh. do uh, another. Ooh. Fuck me up another beer. Yeah. You want? You guys want new yeah. ones? Yeah. I'll finish this. Okay, please. We love to drink with Chris, because Chris is our mate, and when we drink with Chris, he gets it. Seven, eight, seven, seven, six, five, five four, three, oh, two. Oh, he did yeah! it! What a <laughs> champ, dude. Cocksuckers. <laughs> That's a dark beer to be on that show. Oh, man. Yeah. And not having dinner. Yeah, you totally went for it, man. I'm surprised. Hey, Neff, fried rice Neff, in your hey, kitchen? Neff, do you want to yeah. throw up the, the side-by-side? 
There. Yeah, absolutely. I'll do it. Do it. it took too long at the liquor store. Boom! I'm gonna take over Tate. The side. I'm gonna take over that Tate love. Oh God! Do you guys see it? that? Yes. But so four. four eight. Eight. They gotta be quiet because I'm not seeing Six mic. times forty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. Forty-eight. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Look at that artwork. It matches that what that background like we planned it. Oh my yeah. God! Look at the Wait. utter. I love the utter. Mm. That's the best touch. You know, it wasn't until you said mm. that it matches the background like we planned it. That I realized, oh shit, that's why he did that. I thought it was because of the <laughs> new trailer. That yeah, we which I said, which no. I was like, oh, by the, the way, we haven't it? talked about oh, it yet. Okay, man. Uh, the new trailer for the Hans, for the Hans solo movie. I said Hans. I meant to say Hans. Oh, I apologize. Hans. Hans. It's Hans Olo. Is that Hans it? Olo? Hans you, Olo. Hey, do you guys like Hans Olo? <laughs> <laughs> no, that new Hans Solo solo movie. So I'm sorry. Fucking badass. Oh my god. I didn't like the first one. Hey, uh, uh, Larry Jed just joined in. I'm the first half talking. of the first one because Lady of Jed. the IPA, Jed. I think. Hey, nice. Lee and Jed. You know what's crazy is they have They're not tuned in one. before this. No, no, one. I'm listening. He's the worst. <laughs> Lee and Jed just turned, okay. tuned in for the first time, but it was because Sarah told them about her cast, and then she had to introduce our cast, and now they're watching. I hope it's Jed. Hell and yeah. I would fucking love Jed to be on this. Dude, thing. Jed's a dude. Jed's awesome. Jed at uh, that Jason's graduation. He was there. That is Jed guy. And he has You were there. He <laughs> has giant hands that would make this look like a Dixie cup. It's not an insult. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. What a good guy. That and I've heard him be so truthful with his son. I'm like that I'm not sure and if that's good or bad parenting. I I, I don't know. I mean, he I was good fucked guy. up. Good but guy. His son, his name is Finn, so I call him FN two one eight seven. He was <laughs> nice. totally cool with it. Yeah, <laughs> okay, you can call me that forever. Wait, was, that night, was that the night that I uh, called, uh, came up with Wendy's nickname? Wendy the Yardway. Probably, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the same fucking day. Yeah. Wendy! Oh, that was a good time, man. Dude, we have some good fucking time. Hans yeah. Olo, the purple <laughs> baron. <laughs> Elder, man, I'm as so glad that you've been here with us all night. Sometimes I'm like, you get back on this I cast. stop hanging out and like get shit done. <laughs> I'm like, I think we have a lot of fun. fun. Week. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. You better put it up. Oh, there. man. Just like I've been thinking, next, uh, oh, God damn. The next <laughs> time that we do a D&D campaign needs to be all of us. All four of us? All of us. I've never played. We'll see. Oh, man. I don't know if I want to commit to another one. Cool. Dude, but here's the thing. It's so much better with us than it is with your other group. Probably. We can do two rogues. How fucking fun would that be? Oh, Not my fun, God. Not fun, we just destroy everything? Oh, my God. <laughs> That'd be so fucking amazing. <laughs> so, i destroy uh, yeah, Jason and I do d d together. <laughs> uh, uh, it's a good fucking shut up. Up. I hated the first half of the first beer uh, of this, and I think it would... I had a lot to do with the IPA still still being <clears throat> on my tongue. I'm gonna give this a seven five. It's not incredible flavor. It's kind of heavy. I I don't think I could drink three or four. Like after this, I'm probably gonna go back to one more IPA or so. Uh, seven five for me. All right. It's a it's a good Walnut River beer, but it's not a Walnut River beer that I would drink a lot of or. More than occasionally. What about as a stout? What about as a stout? As a stout? I gotta ask you that. It's up there. Yeah. I've had the, uh, and I can't really compare it because we haven't had it on the show, but the, the dragon's milk is horrible. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's like, is that like a 12 9? It's, it's like, like yeah, double it's the like ABV. I think it's 11%. Yeah. And it was nasty as fuck. <laughs> I had it at uh, your boss's house. Yeah, and I was already. That was the place I had it. Does that guy just stock <laughs> up on fucking dragon's milk? People leave beer in his house. Like I've left. Probably I was already destroyed, three, four, and I tried one of those beers, and I was like, "No, fuck you." And That's where I, I had it. it but and I then you it. won. And then you and fucking then won. won. <laughs> oh <laughs> god, you got to be I got a weekend of mine. I'm thinking the uh, weekend after the seventeenth. Uh, uh, the artwork's awesome. No, isn't that where we're supposed to help him? Is yeah, we're move? supposed to help us to move that weekend. Aren't you going to be out of town? <laughs> <laughs> I got plans. The name's, the name's creative as fuck. You should have Mike Tyson do commercials for you if you can, because it'd be perfect. Yeah. A milk oh, that stout. Down yeah. And darkest utter With a dark milk stout. stout. Yeah. yeah. It's great. Dude, I love the picture of him on a fucking boat, and he's got this fucking tank top, and it just says, 
thunned out, gunned out, and he's... Yes. <laughs> that one and uh, You Disgust Me are my favorite. From Mike Tyson's <laughs> mystery team? Like, that, I fucking love Every that. time Julie, like, pisses me off, I'll send her the You Disgust Me meme. With Mike Tyson. <laughs> Derek says, Dark Dragon Milk isn't my favorite either. Oh, God, it's yeah. brutal. Dude, I started, I thought it would be like, he said, Dragon Milk isn't my favorite. Like, I started doing it just because of this fucking beer, man. Uh, <laughs> Jason, you're next. All right, this sounds cool. Uh, Five minutes maximum. I really <laughs> like this as a stout. As a milk. I <clears throat> This compared to a normal stout, I can't tell why this is a milk stout. I, I can't at all. If this was on uh, Stouts and Sue's Day, holy shit, I probably never would have woken up. This is amazing. <laughs> I, I love this as a stout. Uh, as a milk stout, as a whatever stout, this is really, really smooth. It doesn't have yeah, any additional flavors, so it's not it's not overly complicated. Thanks, it's Cooper. Not something that you should look out for. Love you, Sue, man. Man. I love you, man. I love you, man. It's not. There's not like vanilla in it, like we did the the oatmeal stout, the buffalo, buffalo sweat. sweat. There's nothing like that in it. Or the unholy. It's extremely smooth. You said you thought it was heavy. I don't think it's that heavy compared to other stouts that I've had. At all, especially not like uh, if you have a Guinness or anything like that. It, this isn't that heavy at all. Uh, it's dark. I like it. It's got all the flavors of a dark. This is a this is a nine for me. This is yeah. I, I don't know if it's because the hazy uh, hazy little mm -hmm. thing IPA has got me a little <laughs> a little, little buzz. Pro probably into the realm of drunk. That this is just amazing to me. But this. This agrees with me all the way. This hits every point that I like, and I. It, it's probably good that it's winter. Uh, I absolutely think that it's good that it's winter for a dark beer. This uh, is a seasonal for them. Is it? Yeah, oh, so it's seasonal, so it makes sense. So this, this if you can get it in the winter time, it's a nine for me. Yeah, it, it would this make is, no sense this is amazing. as a, a beer in August. Oh, oh no! If if I was drinking this in my pool. I'd probably fucking barf in my pool. <laughs> but in the winter, I would love to drink this in front of a fireplace. You would barf on black. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be the worst part. It would be the deep motor oil. oil. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is this is awesome. I I really, really yeah. like this. I want to drink this at that. Christmas. Mm. That's, straight that's to what the I want to do. Yeah. Oh shit, you're right. This is this straight to the light black. you can't even see it. It it is you know, it is black. That's fucking like, amazing, this is no oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let's do this. this All right, so flashlights on. Let's see if I can shine through it. I cannot fucking shine through this at all. <laughs> I can't see that light at all. Like yeah, shine it, shine it that way. Shine it towards completely there. dark. <laughs> so so it's completely Boom. dark. Yep, still dark. There's up. nothing. Can't There's see shit. Fucking nothing. It, it's fucking dark. It's good. I like it. <laughs> I'm happy with it. You, you, you go first. I'll go first. Uh, uh, wait, 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 is this the same guy that played? It looks like the dude who played uh, in Star Trek. Uh, is that about him? No. Shut no. your mouth. Uh, <laughs> so, um, I'm, as far as like the flavors, the flavors that I'm getting, I mean, most dark beers they have a, a toasted malt, uh, mm -hmm. and that 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 kind of comes through. I mean, I, like you were saying, what makes something a milk stout? That's I, or okay, like like you said, I don't I don't understand what makes something a milk stout. Maybe I need to do a little more research into that. But I get a little bit of coffee notes. I yes, think that's just absolutely. from the the toasted malt. I think yeah. that's stouts uh, in general. I don't think I've ever had a stout that has not had a coffee note. Uh, I do agree with you, Jason, when you said uh, that it's not a super heavy one. Like this one feels lighter. It doesn't feel like you can only have one of these, and then you can't have another one because you're so full after drinking it that you're not even interested. I feel like I could have more than one of these. I won't drink a six pack. With this, there's no way. With a stew. Yeah. This would go. Where, I I, oh, I oh, could oh. see this with a stew. Oh, 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 um, <laughs> Cooper says lactose. They add lactose, okay, to make it a milk stout. I'm gonna have to look this up. What's going on right now? I'm going to have to look it up. Okay. Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think. I, I think it was totally popping you know, up. Uh, hmm? I think it was popping up because of the TV. Hmm. I don't have any arguments with this beer. I mean, overall, I like it. 
It's a drink. I mean, it's got a, that drinkability factor. It's smooth. Uh, it's not too heavy. It's 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 bold. Uh, I'm I'm gonna. Oh man, I've been giving everything such high ratings lately. Yep. It's like against my nature. <laughs> but uh, the fact that it's Walnut River plays into its uh, plays into uh, my rating. So I'm gonna Would play more if it was from Hydra. Speaking of Hydra, shut up, bud. <laughs> God, I'm, I'm gonna give it an eight. All right. Oh. Jason the Interrupter. That's gonna what be if, his nickname from now what on. If it was another Sierra Nevada. I don't know. <laughs> like a six. <laughs> Two full fucking points. I'm just wondering. Uh, no, no, no. I, I like. I mean, honestly, like I like this beer. Or... I could. I mean, I could. Yeah. I, I. The fact that it's it's made in Kansas. It's made in El Dorado, which is yes. in the, the area where I'm from. That gives it a half a point. Don't boost they have casinos now in El Dorado? Maybe. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't gamble. Yeah, I unless it's whooping your asses in poker. <laughs> <laughs> Once ever. <laughs> Should should we do that? Should we do a bro day and go to a casino in Kansas? No, no. We should do that. No, I'm out. We should do that. I'm so bad at gambling. You know how terrible I am at gambling. But we everybody's against you. But we only set aside a hundred bucks. Nope. For two days. Okay, so two days. If you set aside a hundred bucks for everybody here, we'll go. We'll spend your money. Are you serious right now? Because if you're serious right now. I will totally accept that offer. <laughs> I'll go spend your money. Yeah, totally. I'll gamble totally. your money all day. But, but the deal like, is, any winnings. No, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> get to you give me a hundred bucks. Whatever I win, I win. That's mine. If I, half. If I'll I, give you half my winnings. If you I'm gracious pay... enough to give me your hundred dollars back, that's on my. That's, that's my <laughs> decision. <laughs> if you win, you pay me at least my money back. And who's left on review? <laughs> me. I'm the last one. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna judge. I've had this beer before. Uh, I tried it when it very first came out. Uh, I actually bought it from Eric Peck nice. at the liquor store. And he was like ranting and raving about it. That's how I know it's one of his faves. Uh, uh, it's a great beer. I love this beer. Uh, I also don't understand the whole milk part of it, the milk stout. Uh, it's light on the Ooh. tongue, but I still get like milk super stout. Stout, sorry. Stout. Uh, light on the tongue as far as flavor, but it's still like got a heavy, bold flavor to me. Um, super smooth though. I like that about it. Walnut River so far, everything I've tasted by these guys, they're solid. on point, man. You know, they're either they're either right there solid or they're doing something awesome right above it. Um, I'm gonna give this an eight, solid eight. Nice. This is a really solid stout. Uh, it's smooth, good tasting. It won't. I I couldn't drink a six pack of this. I don't think. But uh no this oh, for, especially for like a cold day like mm-hmm. today. Yep. yep, perfect. Nailed it. Which it's just seasonal, so they know what they're doing. Yep. I might be. You know, the only thing things. that I'm worried about is because it's a newer brewery, is that next year they won't have this as their seasonal. Oh, and so like we'll no. never get to try dark. Don't you put that on me, Ricky Bobby. And that's the only put that on me. If we're outside for like the night <laughs> camping and these were hot, I'd probably want a hot six. You want a hot one of these? Or or warm. Okay. But here's the thing, if they do decide to not do this again next year as a seasonal because they're no brewery, we tried Dark Thunder while it was in existence. Yeah. We did that. So yeah. I told my wife to look into Airbnbs for cabins or whatever for us to stay for like a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, leave on Sunday. In Sioux but Falls? It, no, not in Sioux Falls. Just coming up recently because it started to snow today. Uh, if anybody wants in on that, let me know if you can start... Changing the rooms from uh, two to three to four to five. <laughs> it started so, snowing today. Yeah. yeah so where? I wanted to take a <laughs> yeah. It, where? It, it yeah, depends where on the place. It's supposed to be a snowy, cold location right now. So it would be within the next, I would say, month, month and a half. So while it's in the winter season, just hanging out in the cabin. Hanging out in the cabin, probably playing board games during the day. Okay. No fucking electronics. Wait, will you be there? <laughs> away from everything. Will you I, be there? I'll be in my room. No, I can't I'll go. I'll be in my room. <laughs> I also have to do that, day. That's, that's, <laughs> that's okay. Are you going to help his dad move? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> oh, shit. What day? Oh, I got plans. <laughs> that was so fucking funny, man. If, if Sarah's going to go, though, uh, I'm done with Sarah. We, we can go have fun. <laughs> yeah, Dude, we, we played uh, what, Elder Sign this weekend. 
finally, last time we lost our ass. Man. We fucking lost our ass. This time we crushed it. We destroyed the game this time. We fucking crushed it. Played what? Elder Sign. What so it's you playing against some sort of Cthulhu ish, uh, uh, Lovecraftian god. Okay. And we, last time we fucking lost. We lost hard. It's very teamwork based this, and strategizing. Yeah. This time. Is it a board game? Fucking or? crushed it. Yeah. yeah. It, okay. It's a. It's a card game slash board game. There's no actual board, but it's yeah. a card game where you all get your rolls and you all get your yeah. y- your abilities and if you, you roll you like shit, you lose. If you roll yeah. decent, you win. Kind <laughs> Dude, of we, we fucking rolled awesome. Yeah, it, it was. Lily killed it. Yes, Lily fucking killed it every and round. Me, she fucking killed it. Yeah, you did too. You you kicked ass, but Lily fucking killed it. I was like, she was over there playing Switch with her headphones on, and then when she'd roll, she's like. All right, I went, okay, I'm going back to this. Like, <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, did you give it an eight? eight, eight no? uh, yeah, eight. eight. Solid eight. Anybody who doesn't know, uh, at least Chris, Jason, and I, and, and Nate dabbles a little bit, but we're huge nerds. We like that uh, board game tabletop uh, RBG type world. So we just dabble. Yeah. Oh, so here's Chewie the Wonder Dog. He loves it. He, lo- he loves it. Love down with you. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Time for a wrestling vid or oh, uh, no. Han I'm, Solo? I want to watch Han Solo. Let's do the Han Solo yeah. first. Let's do Han Solo first. Wait, wait, can I have another beer? Another Darth? Yes. Darkest. Oh That's all I've got left. I'm going to kick this tower over just because I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yep. That's a good fucking tower, though. Who's left? Who's here? One person. Nah. Who's yeah. Here? Say what's up. We Everybody's like, yeah, we've had enough. Yeah, they got enough. Work. There's more. I, I always think that that thing's Biased. not correct. Jason, <laughs> Jason gets old after a while. I get it. I get it too. Okay. Uh, Star Wars Han Solo trailer. Yes. Play it. This. Swoop it over. Oh. oh, boom. Oh, this is the newest, newest one. Okay. I haven't Ooh, even seen baby. this one. Ooh, look at the head on this guy. Ugh. Need to make sure the audio is okay on it before I kill everyone's ears. Might be desktop audio, actually. I think it's just, yeah, wrong desktop. I'm going to mute us while it's going. Boom. Boom. been running scams on the street since I was 10. I was kicked out of the flight academy for having a mind of my own. I'm going to be a pilot. The best in the galaxy. Hey, kid. I'm putting together a crew. You in? That's yes. I might be the only person. Who knows? What you really are. What's that? trouble there for a second but it's fine we're fine oh man I can't Holy wait. Holy shit. I can't wait. Shit. That was the first time I saw that. Uh, I want to watch it. Second and time. we don't have to wait till the winter. It's in the summer. We second get it time I saw it, and I'm more excited. Holy shit. Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. Uh, Woody Harrelson. Uh, Charles Gambino. Or yep. Donald Glover. Oh, Who's man. the dude who God. plays? Hold on. 
I'm not sure who it I, is. I I don't know either. That's I think he's a great the only fit guy though. where I've where I was like, uh, who is that? Who, great fit who? though. Who? I love that guy as I don't Hans. Know. Already, I haven't even seen the movie, and I already love him as Han. He uh, sounded hoping, like yeah. him. I'm, yeah, I'm hoping. But then again, it adds His name so is much backstory. Alden Ehrenreich. So, in in all the previous movies, you don't get much of Hans, not Hans, Hans backstory. Uh, you just know that he's some sort of, I, I don't know, I guess runner. Yeah. And this this adds so much to that. It, it almost seems too much. Like way too Elvin, much. you're absolutely invited. So we go. Yes. I hope you're they have for the Brisbane night. Two movies for him. What's up, Luke? That would be awesome if they had two. I movies hope so too. That way, they're not all cramming it in one. They're gonna cram it in one. I, I hope not. Cram it in one. The Parsec run. Because they already uh, have it planned. It was that one. It yes. was. I hope they do that. It was Han. I do, but I would rather them wait till like a second one because, come on, he's twenty. They had it planned with the with the, with old, the new trilogy. Killing it. Oh, yeah. yeah. See that that's the thing for me. Like, really, this guy knows more than everybody ever before that, and then he becomes some kind of a space pirate. Kind of a space. Pirate. I hope they nail it. Yeah. Hey, with the trilogy, they already had it planned. Rogue One, Han movie, Obi Wan movie. So I they're thought... gonna cram everything in the Han movie. No, I thought there was supposed to be the fucking uh, Boba Fett movie. I thought that was originally supposed. That was to be something part of that the I think everybody wanted, but I don't think it's happening. Then they backed out of. I thought that was supposed to be the thing. So they did Obi Wan instead of Boba. <sighs> I would rather have Boba than Obi Wan. Here's the say. thing, dude. I was looking forward to the beginning of like the newest things, and something pops up with Boba's like Boba comes into <laughs> it, and they're like, "I'm out of here." Minus Tate. Like, uh, so. Elder said he wants to come watch the movie with us for the first time, but you can't be there. So I'm, I'm really hoping that's why they introduced <laughs> Benicio del Toro in the last movie was so that he gets uh, his own po? Po movie. Yeah, uh, was he Poe? No, no, was he was po? he was the bad guy. The, ba- the guy that, that uh, gets him out of jail and then yep. uh, he like betrays. Him I can't remember what his name was, but I don't remember his character name. I can't Ooh, wait yeah. for him. To be a bad guy. I feel oh. like he's this generation's Boba Fett. The the new bounty hunter. Yeah. Right? Because yep. in the old series, they introduced like five bounty hunters at the same time. And Boba Fett was supposed to be a minor character. But it was like, love Boba Fett. Yeah. And he blew Even the fuck he had up. Barely in his Blew play. the fuck he's up. He's got the rarest action figure ever. Yeah. 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 So I'm um, I'm hoping that the the last one they introduced was that. So and funny. that in because this is Part two of the three part series. If we go b- based on the past, so I don't think it'll be. You don't linked. think it'll be a three part series? I don't think they'll link uh, them. No, I think they'll be their own entities. Yeah, I hope. I hope they go by trilogies. I, I really do, but I, I mean, I can see it being like a ten part thing to lead up to it, or uh-huh. or lead past it. I guess that is. So I don't know. I just really hope he gets something of his own. It's Benicio del Toro. He does one of my favorite movies, The Way of the Gun. I fucking love him in the way that. again. No, <laughs> right at the beginning, Sarah Silverman is yelling at the oh, God, yelling at these dudes in the in the parking lot because they're sitting on this car, and she's like, "Hey, you fucking dickless, fucking <laughs> small! I like to rape babies, guy." Like, that sounds like her. She's just all fucking yeah. outrageous, and it's this dude. Yeah. It's this white dude with a red fro, right? And she's like, he's going to fuck you. He doesn't even like up, to Chad? fuck Ben, but he's going to fuck you. He's going to fuck you so hard. And Benicio Del Toro, I can't remember if it was Benicio Del Toro or Ryan Felipe, but one of them just hops up and stomps on her fucking feet until they're just fucking crushed. And this guy starts wailing out on them, and they're just beating the shit out of each other. And a way later, they, they commit a really strategic robbery. But it's that, and it's just the beginning that of the movie. sounds it's out fucking of control. Awesome. <laughs> I love the way they gun. <laughs> <coughs> so it's time for wrestling match. Yeah, next video we got oh, for you go. is Uh-oh. the postcast drum Uh-oh. rolling session. Wait, wait, wait. wait we got to introduce this. We got to introduce this. So a few weeks ago, uh, Neff was like, "I'm Scrappy," and Tate's like, "Ha ha ha." 
And then this <laughs> this happens. That's so perfect. The, the end of the stream happened, and all Tate does is lift up the table and move it from the living room. So the table's yeah. in the middle where you like, can see it. Okay, so after he cast, moves it out of the way. Anybody who hasn't been here, there's a few of you guys who have been uh, guests and they've seen uh, it. We stand around, we bullshit. We have a you know another drink if we're not too fucked up. Normally that's not the case, but uh, we hang out, we chill for a little bit after cast, and then we all part you know part ways and go home. Uh, so we're standing here doing that and. Uh, Tate grabs the table, moves it out of the way, and I was like, holy shit, this is really happening. Uh, we were drunk. Yeah, we were. We were extremely drunk. It was the first night of Hydra. Yep. But uh, it was a good time, so... Uh, right. Chris. And then Chris put it through a... He sped it up and put some effects on it. It was a five-minute round. We got some music going behind it. We sped uh, it up to what? A minute? No. A minute 50-ish. Ooh, minute. I'm going to comment the same comments I had before. Starting with World Star, World Star, <laughs> yeah, some World Star shit. World Star. Nope. Oh, oh. If we oh, go again, I'm gonna submit Neth and Underman. Did you get my no, snap? You're not. Yes, I am. No, you're yeah, fucking this, not. If we go again, I'm gonna be re relentless. Oh my I'm gonna god. Submit Neth <laughs> Is this just the one video I sent Jesus you, or was Christ. this the second one as well? It's all of it combined, I think. Yes, it's all of it combined. I hope so. So right. when the speed up cast, it'll be I we're, submit Neff and under. We're Neff sitting there seconds. at the beginning, and like, ha ha ha, and then chasing. <laughs> no, it's the part before. That. I it's came at it. I oh, came at it. That. No. It's after your Snapchat part. Oh, damn it! Damn it! This like you guys are already rolling around on the yeah. ground. The only part that I remember is when I was like trying to engage you, like trying to stay away. You're like, what is he doing? No, he's he's gonna he's dragging me in. No, it was just awkward to begin with. Isn't it awkward? Here we go. Hopefully it fucking works. Here we go. Right prior to that, because it was like super sped up. It was uh, like, did I prove my point? We were like, okay, we're done, and we said, yeah, and he backed off, and I just went ahead and gave him a couple slaps, just because I wanted to. We no, 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 it was Watch. mutual. Boom. It was like <laughs> exactly yeah. the same time. It, yeah, because yeah, it was a thing. It was just, it was just. It was all fun. Yeah, it was all fun. Little fun games. So drunken. Uh, I just rolling. remember Chris saying, "Bruise Bros, Brias." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were all pretty intoxicated uh, tonight, so. uh there you go. What Tuesday? There you go. We? There you go, fam. Like, well, hashtag Bruise Days. Elders always bruise days. kicking around, basically. Bruise Days. Elder, hell yeah. Always love Bruise Days. Bruise, bruise Day is the best bruise day. day. So oh, empty, man. like my soul. I'm <laughs> <laughs> ginger. <laughs> uh, I'm an IPA. <laughs> so oh, empty, man. like my soul. Oh, oh man! Okay. I love Brad yeah, just joined in. I love Bruce. Oh shit! Just now, Brad. Come on. Where the fuck Come you the been? Fuck you know. On, Brad. Seven o'clock Central, dude. 
fucking Where you at? You there. better be on Swap. some fucking Eastern That's Coast shit or something. You're in KC. You're in fucking KC. You're still in Central Time. You fucked up, God damn it, Brad. You fucked up, Brad. We've been doing this for 26 weeks. You said 26. 26 goddamn weeks. More than that, because we skipped a week or two, so like 28, 29. You fucked up, bro. Brad, we shouldn't have to text you. It's 7 on Tuesday. I don't even know when you guys start. 7. 7 on Tuesday. Hey, Brad, uh, I'm going to send you a text today for the next 10 years. 7 on Tuesday. So... So, uh, Brad, I'm shouting you out now. And this is going to be lovely for the end of the video. So, uh, last Thanks for joining week, in that day. The Fox didn't see that. Brad talked about coming down to Salina. <laughs> he didn't end up coming down to Salina. He was like, ah, you know, I'm just feeling... He, he moved to KC, moved away from his friends. <laughs> you he's like, so much from when you must He's like, I moved away from my friends. You know, it's just kind of a... A, a little, little man. Life, so she can taste a lighter. Everything's a little man all the time. I was like, oh, is it because you're not around your friends and you're not getting that booty? And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm not getting that booty. I said, after my divorce, I'm going to buy one of those real-life sex dolls. They're only like 2500 bucks. And then he sent me back, and he was like, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah. I said, that, and now they have those thick dolls. And then he was like... What? I, I don't know about thick dolls. Jeez, and then he sent me back like this, dude. He sent me back like this. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, I get the thick bunch dolls. Of, I'm like, yeah. The thick dolls. That's that's what it's about. So, There's Brad, a toast to you about a thick doll. Uh, Watch all of our eyes. Buy two. What buy is a two. thick doll? Thick, oh, thick. Like a big girl doll? Yeah. yeah. Not thick. Thick thighs. Thick goes. hips. Here it comes. <laughs> yep. Yep. Is doing that bit of petting. It's gonna be a brown ball. Uh, there he is! You <laughs> bet. <laughs> yeah, Jason yeah. for a second. <laughs> there you go. That's good. Uh, uh, oh, you fucking would, you rebel. You Han. Let me know, bro. Hans Olo. You fucking Hans, Hans Olo. Olo. Oh. <laughs> if you no, uh, let me know how it goes for you. I, I'm waiting. I'm waiting like six more years till they're self cleaning, and then, dude, <laughs> oh definitely investing. Definitely investing. Jesus. Investing or like buying two. <laughs> That's two buying two. Things. So, so I'm buying, and then I have a feeling as long as I hide it under Sarah's fucking I, laundry basket, she'll never see I it. I want to invest because I think it's going to take <laughs> off. Dude, yeah. Uh, so Patrice O'Neill died years ago, but he has a lovely skit about. Women, if you've lost your vagina, how are you going to keep your man? How are you going to keep him? And all these ladies are like, I'm going to give him BJs. Patrice O'Neill is him, one of the funniest motherfuckers. I'm going to give him hand jobs. I'm going to let him fuck me in the ass. And then, so Patrice O'Neill goes, so ladies, from none of you have I heard, I'm going to develop personality. I'm going to like his hobbies. <laughs> I'm going to be nice to him. None of this. You've just developed yourself as a series of holes. And I was like, oh, fuck, Patrice. Trace, he wants you speak hurt. the truth. You speak the truth. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, ladies, I'm sorry. It's Patrice O'Neill, not me. But it's very humorous. It's extremely humorous. No ladies watch our show. There's like three. <laughs> out of uh, the ma majority of... guys. That's yeah. a pretty good tower we got going. Dude, it's pretty decent. Even uh, Facebook tells us on our page, you should uh, target... Men from 25 to 34. <laughs> <laughs> so, when are we going to do the BBBS Christmas tree? I want to do that. Oh what? my god. The what? That would be awesome. Especially when we do these towers. Just a big fucking end of the year 52 beers tree. No, 104 beers tree. Boom. <laughs> Just fucking I, outside I, ring, outside I, ring, I, outside I, ring, outside I, ring, outside I, ring. And then, then the top rings are actually our top rated beers. What? I know. <laughs> That's so right? much planning. That's so much to keep track of shit. how many beers no, are no, the top never rated. Never am I. Not at all. Unless oh we start God, doing the scorecards like we talked about, oh, where we all hold it. it up every time, and I can be like, just put it all right, 15 body. minutes, put 45 minutes, <laughs> shut up, Death, next, next, five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. Scorecard, there it is. Oh, no! <laughs> we have it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> what we should do is we should also rotate the chairperson of our cast, and that's the person who has to keep our scores for that week. That way I'm not like, ah, that was an eight, and then the next right the next rating, I'm like, that was a 
That was an eight, right? So this is a nine, or a, I'm like, that was a seven, right? I this do, is an eight. I do like the. <laughs> Uh, uh, we talked about, I think you and I, uh, writing down score, score cards on a whiteboard, our, either on a, yeah, on a whiteboard yeah. or on our phones, yeah. writing down our review as the timer expires so that it's not no you giving an eight. And I already had down a seven, but since you gave it an eight, I'm giving it an eight and a half. You? Oh, no bias. Fact, not I'm gonna that. Fuck what you guys think. I don't either, you. but... <laughs> may give the viewers more faith in us. Okay, all right. From, also a, from a different a, standpoint. If we had oh, a whiteboard or something or a phone, it also gives us a chance to make notes about that beer. Yeah. Too. Like, oh, this was malty. This was hoppy. This was citrusy. This was whatever. Or, oh, I didn't really like this at all. Dude, yours would just, say, cool. yours would just say 8 or 8.5 and then, fuck Tate. I hate Tate. <laughs> Tate sucks. <laughs> See? <laughs> See, that's reasonable. That's reasonable that's to use all, all my additional say. space. That's all he was going to say. Also, like, tiny 8.5 no, in the corner. But, yeah, it, it, you were turning your own like, I give it up. Oh, you said this has lactose in it? I said it has fucked hate yeah. in it. Yeah. Fuck Tate. Oh, you got it? I got it. Oh, Elder man. said Here's metal the for the king of the, of the, king of the castle. One, Look at two, it up there. Three, four, five, six, you want to see something cool? Eight, you want to see my Jenga? 13, that's, 18. Yeah, I was going to say, that's, is that all the beers? No, we got six more. So. You're gonna totally fuck it up. Oh yeah, that's right. It's twelve. It doesn't work like Jenga. No. Oh no, it doesn't. <laughs> hey, this one came out earlier. What? Uh, oh, 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 oh god! I think I'll leave it. No, you might have it. Do it. Do it. it out. Do it as fast do as you it. can. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, guys. Is that a good way to end the cast? I think so, right? No. Crashing the pyramid? We've got a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I want to talk about the lady who denied her $560 million lottery. Nobody cares about that. No! She denied it? She did. She said if she had to release her name, she would not accept. And she's trying to hire a lawyer outside of her bounds for her state in order to I think you're collect. outnumbered, Jason. No! <laughs> anyway, so oh God, God. God. Damn it. get the glasses up. Here's you know, people. Bro. You have a 120 right. times percent chance to get murdered by your family. Don't it's say your cool. name when you're under a lot of you stupid fucks. Ah. We love you guys. Don't Thank do you. It. Don't Thank do you it. again so much for joining uh, all the breweries that show up tonight. Sierra Nevada, uh, Walnut River. You Bud. guys are awesome. Yes. Bud, you didn't want Bud. to I didn't Hydra. see you, but we love you guys. Hydra and Bud. everybody who Woo! follows you are fucking awesome. Bud. Uh, Bud. Bud. And Bud. Eric Pat, happy well, birthday. It's, it's Celebrity Deathmatch was a good show. Good night. Good show. Good night. Go train. Was it something like that? Yeah. I don't remember that. Hey, thanks Thank all you, Elder. Elder. for being here all night, morning, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Peace. To Elder. Yeah, fuck you, Brad. Fucking show up two hours late and tell me 11 minutes.